ladies and gentlemen of planet Earth. You are not watching the real me, but a hologram version of me. This is the hologram version of me, not the real me. And I'm still moving, walking, and talking just like the real normal host, except I'm not him. And you don't necessarily have to talk in a robot. You don't have <clears throat> you don't have to talk in robot voice um, if you're a hologram. Uh, as uh, brings me to my next topic here, that I want to talk to you guys about is uh, Tupac. Tupac hologram Tupac at Coachella just a little bit ago. Um, I thought it was awesome. I thought it was great. Um, I was there in the front row. Um, it looked flawless. It looked, I know there's been like a lot of, uh, controversy about it or whatever, but I thought this Tupac, the hologram Tupac looked awesome. He was ripped, totally ripped from head to toe, flawless, um, terminally 29. Uh, he didn't have any, uh, bullet holes in him. Um, he just, he just looked awesome. Um, I think it's a great idea. Um, they're already talking about uh, having Tupac, Hologram Tupac, to go on a full world tour. I think it's a great idea. I think it'll be better than any uh, real Tupac tour that there was before because he looks and sounds flawless. Um, and it's just going to be a flawless experience. And I think this is the way of the future in music. Um, I mean, uh, you're going to see flawless performances. Uh, by flawless artists, um, and I, I'm really excited about where, where things are headed now with uh, music and hologram artists, hologram art artistry. Um, you know, it's for example like George Michael, he refuses to play his old material. Well, screw him. You know, uh, we don't need George Michael. Hollow wham, hello. You know, um, so you know, you know what's going to happen next would be really cool. Um, Inevitable, really. Hologram Tupac and Biggie tour together, right? Um, and they, one comes out, raps for a while, and another comes out, raps for a while, and they both get on stage together, and then they just shoot each other. And they gun each, cap each other down, they gun each other down, they both die. There's blood everywhere, holographic blood everywhere, okay? Um, and it's just, just a murderous scene. It's brutal. Uh, both Biggie and Tupac just laying their own blood, you know, um, just dying and, and uh, convulsing. But then the lights go down, the crowd goes silent. Everyone's just shook up, right? But then what the cool thing about holograms is the lights come up, and guess who else comes up, bitches? Both Biggie and Tupac. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're raised from the dead once again. They're back. So now uh, you can have them high-fiving each other. Uh, now they're rapping together side by side. Um, you know, just, just boozing buddies. Running through parks. Um, running through uh, fields. You know, going down water slides. Whatever. It'll be the best show, rap show of, of a life of anyone's lifetime. So um, I think that's going to happen if I, since this is kind of a futurist um, a video that I'm making right now. That's my futurist prediction. Um, and anyway, I I really hope to see more of this uh, holograms replacing the physical human being artists. Um, I might even consider just using the hologram my hologram persona for some more of my videos in the future instead of myself. Um, so I don't know. Uh, let me, let me know what you guys think about this whole debacle in the comments below and, uh, subscribe to my channel above and, um, yeah, that's that. And, uh, we'll see you soon.